Alright, so we're back to uh, more ROM hacking. And today we are doing a castle stage and talking about more of the Switch. And, uh, you know, Mario Kart is really good. Um, I think it's pretty quick to get through the whole uh, game, meaning, uh, you know. And uh, by that, I mean, oh boy, I'm so gonna get killed at some point. So that would be so Caesar. But, I mean, it just seems like it's easy to get through all the cups that are in the game, and thus, uh... Jesus, I'm not used to uh, using the button that spin jumps, unless I, like, custom set it to uh, something that's a little bit more acceptable for me, like L. But in this case, that's just not the case. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's a little cheap. That's plain dirty, my friend. Your minion... Come on, really? How the hell does that work? Yeah, I knew that was happening. Any more? Any more? I mean, Chomper is the best thing that happened ever in a Mario game. And in ROM hacking it, uh, also. Uh, okay, there we go. And let me see, is there a Chompa? Because I swear to God, there would be a Chompa there, too. I'm just saying. But it felt like, uh, you know, there needs to be a lot more cups to play through in Mario Kart. Because otherwise, I guess there's... You could play online, I suppose, and I don't know how I did not get hit by all those chompas. All those chompas. Mm. And of course, yeah, that, that was expected. It's like, you know, it seems like uh, things get pretty good. You, you get through all the cups and then, uh, you know, it's over before you know it. And, you know, I think there could be a lot more that could be added to it. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, oh, okay, I did not get hit by that. I'm honestly surprised. And, uh... Oh, you can't... Oh, okay, you can't jump on that either. Oh, you take, uh, more than three hits. More than... F okay, five hits. That is certainly not the Legend of Zelda formula. But we beat this castle. We beat a castle. Awesome. But definitely, uh... With Mario Kart, add a couple more cups, and that'll be pretty cool. Ooh, water stages. I I'm not going to like this much, am I? Palm Tree Beach. Life's a beach when you're at the beach. Oh, what? Wait, this isn't even, like, water. And yeah, Chuck, you're a dick. After all this time, you're still a nuisance. Can you kill these fish? I don't even know what to think of this water, because it seems like you can get step onto it, but... Hmm. It's actually pretty nice music. Really nice music. They should play that instead of this. Just a friendly suggestion, I mean... And of course I would jump right into that. Thank you. Alright, alright, so let's get this going here. So, um, you know, I think I spoke about Mario Kart as much as I could. Um, another game I, that's on my radar is, uh, trying to get through more of the Street Fighter. Because, uh, for the most part, I play with my wife. And, you know, that's pretty much the extent of it. Um, you know, we just, we just, uh, play a lot of the versus mode as much as we can before it gets, and then we try, like, uh, there's a mode where you can play, uh, two of you against, like, the computer, and a little congested a bit, huh? Holy sh Nikes, man. This is too much traffic. This guy chucking balls, I mean, doesn't sound right. Come on. Chucking balls. 
Gotta be chucking kidding me. But yeah, we played uh, that mode where you have to, uh, actually I'm gonna kill you and take your shell. Just cause it's fun. And that even doesn't seem like it's worth a... Just risk, uh, risk wise. Going for that? Most likely I would get killed by that shell just given how my luck's been so far. But yeah, we played uh, the two versus uh, one computer mode. And we always get to Akuma and get our asses kicked. Of course, it doesn't help to realize that you... Oh, shit. Okay, it's the sun. <laughs> Alright, well. That's great. It's sad, because I like the music, too. But the sun just really... Eh. But yeah, uh, we get to Akuma, and then, before we know it, we get our asses, like, royal royally, like, handed to us. It's like... The fact that you don't regain all your health after each round kind of is a little buzzkill. So I was not expecting that until like it was too late. And I was realizing, huh, I, what the? Ooh, look at this. And I lost it. And I think there's a an incentive towards getting the coins, but because if you get them all, then. You can kind of visit, uh, Princess's, uh, pad, I guess, and I'm so nervous, and that's why. Oh, wow, you can actually slide off these things, too. Hmm. That is not what I was expecting, but... Oh, come on, you can't exist. You just should be extinguished at that point. Come on. Oh boy, okay, that was close. Could really use like a projectile or something. Okay, thank you. For a split second, I thought there would be something like, you know, if you went up those trees or something, you might get something, you know? But, no. But man, it's been a long time since I've really been, uh, the YouTube scene. That kind of missed out on a lot of going ons here. Because uh, I know there are a lot of people on YouTube that I would follow, but I really checked on their videos in quite some time. But then again, that's primarily due to the whole work situation, and that's, you know, slowly, you know, reaching a conclusion. One which is actually going to be, uh, you know, a lot more. A lot better mentally for me, so I look forward to um, those changes coming soon enough. Oh, you son of a bitch. You just, you know how to do it. And that was a like, game over, too. But yeah, luckily uh, the whole work situation is working itself out, and in due time it'll be July before I know it. And in a new position. Don't know why I had to wait an entire month to fully transition over, because I mean, you know, typically you, you know, I could have went to a different company for all we know for a new job, and that would have meant, you know, two week notice, and that's all you would get. So I mean, that's the way I see it at least. I mean, moving to another position, so at max you would think two weeks would be the allotted time before you actually move over to a new job, otherwise, you know, <laughs> I kind of accepted the other job, so. Oh boy, uh, son of a bitch, I can't have anything nice in this game. Really. Man, entire month before I switch over, and I'm gonna be so happy once that comes. Because God knows, this job's been nothing but like a. What a paint, really. I'm just gonna, just gonna save. Please kill him. Thank you. It's like bubble bobble action there. Really useful too. Okay, and I'm right back where I was at. Cool. Oh, and the screensaver. Thanks. 
Thanks, uh, computer. Oh, jeez. Okay. Gotta be pretty accurate with this weapon. And you gotta be uh, good at dodging, too. That helps. And I just gotta time this just right here. And of course, I just screw that up horribly. I'm just gonna time this out really nicely until I actually get to a point where I hit the enemy head on. But yeah, I definitely think a support position, technical support position, is going to be uh, something more palatable for me. Because the whole process is interesting. I mean, sure, it's not programming, but, you know, I wasn't doing a whole lot of that anyways, as of late, so I mean, end of the day, and I'm so going to get killed, aren't I? Oh, freaking A. At least I'm not using save states. I mean, end of the day, I could be happy about that, so. I figure, you know, I'm just gonna do the whole programming thing, you know, on my own, on the side. Nothing that has, like, business applications. Applicable towards uh, business needs because I find that kind of work just kind of stale. Just really stale. You know, I, I find, you know, if I'm going to learn better how to program and everything, might as well be, you know, something I find interesting. Most importantly, you know, video game development. It's always been my dream to, uh, you know, kind of be a game developer. Kind of just work on that. So I found uh, the biggest challenge is just coming up with the ideas. I mean, last thing I really want to do at the end of the day is just make another title that is just like everything else that's out there. Because otherwise, what the heck's the point? Nothing all that creative, and of course I get hit by the stupid sun. Freaking cheap ass natural object, naturally bright object. And I'm still going to get killed, aren't I? Oh, Jesus, it's a Christmas miracle. I want to kill the sun so bad. I saw the sun, and I don't like what I see here. Please tell me this is the end. Oh, really, uh, really, uh, screwed up music there. Ba -ba -do -ba -da -ba -do. Kinda lost my train of thought. Happens a lot, but that's gonna be the end of today's episode. So thank you everybody for watching. And, uh, I don't know, I'll try and get back to whatever I was talking about beforehand. And, uh, yeah, talk to you later, guys.